Why Evolution is True by Jerry A. Coyne. It's a hardback edition, comes with this dust jacket. Put out by Viking. Okay. Jerry A. Coyne. It's a, uh, the, the object itself is not special. It's just a very sort of ordinary binding. It's glued, the pages are glued in. So this isn't, you know, this isn't some beautiful piece of work. On the inside, it has a number of black and white illustrations that aren't, you know, they're not, they're not beautiful. They're not supposed to be beautiful. They are illustrating what the text is discussing. I'm looking for some bird ones that are actually pretty. I think those are kind of pretty. But in any case, you know, it's not, it's not, it's not supposed to be beautiful. It, it explains what he's talking about. Uh, okay, so this book is, well, for me, it, it's not, I don't need to be convinced that evolution is true. I don't need to be convinced that the variety of life that we see on Earth evolved from earlier forms. But what this book does very well is show the mountains of evidence across different scientific fields. So it, it's not just, oh, well, this is what someone studying bird fossils <laughs> looks like or dinosaur fossils or something finds. Uh, it's someone who studies fossils, finds in one part of the world and says, oh, but if this were true, if my hypothesis is true, then geologists should find this other thing. And then lo and behold, the geologist did find that other thing. Uh, but if that was true, then paleontologists of a different sort would have found this other kind of evidence. And then sure enough, that other evidence gets found. So the, it's, it's, it's real science where you predict something should be found if I'm right. And then other fields find it. And this, this book does a good job of showing how across many different fields in science, the same conclusion keeps cropping up. And they, the evidence from one field backs up a hypothesis from another and vice versa. So that's, that's what this is pretty good at. Because as I said, I don't really need to be convinced, but it is still fascinating to find how all these kinds of things do add up to an, uh, an overwhelmingly convincing proposition. Okay, so we'll leave it there. By the way, I, don't, I do not need any comments telling me how this is just my opinion or something like that. I mean, I just, that's not, <laughs> that's not what I'm here for. Uh, if you don't believe in, <laughs> I don't really, I don't, I don't really care. Good luck to you. Okay, so this is uh, Why Evolution is True by Jerry Coyne.